Welcome to another edition of the ID Video Market Report. I'm Anna Wells. And I'm Mike Hockett. Here are this week's top stories in distribution. In Big 50 Company News, Dayton, Ohio-based Win Wholesale, number 16 on Industrial Distribution's 2014 Big 50 list, announced Tuesday that Jack Johnson has been named the company's chief executive officer as Rick Schwartz is stepping down from the role after 17 years. Schwartz, who has been with Win Wholesale for 43 years, will remain chairman of the board. Fastenal announced that it has installed its 50,000th fast industrial vending machine. Over the past few years, the cumulative number of fast solutions devices in place at customer sites has skyrocketed, from just over 7,000 at the close of 2011 to more than 46,000 by the year end 2014. Meanwhile, Fastenal's vending technology offering has expanded and evolved to support a spectrum of product shapes and sizes, from tiny cutting tool inserts to bulky items like boxes and aerosol cans. To put Fastenal's milestone in perspective, there are now significantly more Fast Solutions devices in operation than Redbox, Movie, and Game Rental locations. Jack Keogh's most recent online blog covers the latest at Airgas, including how this distributor is responding to a market that's, quote, sluggish at best. While Keo sees industry-wide layoffs in response to the softening of the economy, Airgas Chairman Peter McCausland suggests that it will be looking elsewhere for cost-cutting measures. According to McCausland, our average cost of employees is not that high, but the cost to terminate, restructure, then rehire and retrain when growth resumes is very high and does not make economic sense, especially at a time when our volumes are only modestly down. Airgas currently employs more than 17,000 employees at some 1,200 operating facilities. In an unusual bit of news, supplier of plumbing and fire protection equipment HD Supply Waterworks has agreed to pay more than $4.9 million to settle allegations that it was involved in a fraud scheme in which it falsely represented its work to gain subcontracts. Reports say that Atlanta-based HD Supply Waterworks was providing supplies for federally funded projects via American Indian Builders and Suppliers Incorporated to falsely appear as though the work had been completed by a disadvantaged subcontractor. The DOT said HD Supply Waterworks case is the largest settlement of its kind involving a third-party supplier in a disadvantaged business enterprise fraud case. And finally, faulty equipment at a northwestern Indiana oil refinery has jolted gas prices throughout the Midwest this past week. The refinery, located just south of Chicago, is the largest in the Midwest and the seventh largest nationally. The shutdown could last a month and potentially remove up to 240,000 barrels of crude production per day from the regional market during peak driving season. More complexity for an already tumultuous oil and gas market. There's a lot of companies keeping a close eye on how this develops. Well, that's it for today. Be sure to sign up for our daily e-newsletter at indist.com. Thanks for joining us.